Hello there guys, uh, so it's been uh, 10 days uh, since the last time I was talking about Evergrow and and basically talking negatively about this project uh, because because of their owners uh, deceitfulness and and for the campaign and uh, that these guys did on a, on on a crypto token on another reflection token that actually has a great product in comparison and basically today i'll just go I'll just go through their performance so far and through some of the lies that they did again. So if we look if we look at their products, uh, products such as NFT marketplace, subscription platform, DAP and swap exchange, uh, according to the roadmap, um, they're already supposed to be here. They are still not here. They are still not developed and there is nothing to show for. Uh, looking further, they did some uh, Evergrow MEAs, and and basically within those MEAs, they uh, did uh, announcement that they will be listed on in the coin uh, exchange, that they will have this NFT marketplace beta launch in the next few weeks, which is which is really laughable. I mean, why why on earth does it take so long to develop an NFT marketplace? Uh, literally small games have those marketplaces and there is nothing special about them. Uh, they're also promising two big exchanges, uh, listings, listings in two big exchanges. Uh, once they will be happy with that economic structure for the community and they are doing some, 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 they are giving out some more information that, you know, Burn and Team Wallet does not receive BSD and so on, so on, so on, so on. So basically, so basically 10 days has passed according to the roadmap and everything. We're supposed to have these certain products already deliver, delivered by Evergrow coin. And so far we have nothing. Uh, looking further, uh, there are some posts uh, uh, from the other people that are basically defending the coin. And they are saying that when you purchase on the exchange, you don't actually have a custody of the tokens, which is true. Basically, when you buy an exchange, everything is held within the exchange. And let's say if there is any hard forks, if there is any airdrops, if there is any sort of like a, any of those sort of like a, in the sense of collections, everything travels directly to the exchange. You get none of it, even if you hold those tokens that originally would be eligible for that stuff. And basically, basically, he uh, this person is saying that. It gets super complex when you have to figure out how to or even whether to contribute to the buyback and burn feature, as well as giving reflections in BSD to their customers, making sure that they have their own liquidity. Uh, this whole sort of like a liquidity thing, a liquidity providing for the exchange thing is absolutely nonsense. Uh, there could be just a simple smart contract that um, interact directly with ever grow liquidity pool and there is nothing special about it when it comes about receiving all these sort of like reflections and stuff like that within the exchange um, itself it is absolute nonsense uh, it's 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 just not how things work uh, looking further uh, in one of the uh, in one of those uh, AMEAs, basically basically the CEO the owner uh, basically revealed the plans that you know they will be using the Evergrow token more or less for everything and anything they will have this uh, platform similar to OnlyFans with millions of creators performers and subscribers. According to the CEO, Evergrow token will be used widely for all the transactions for tipping, buying services, etc. Now, there is one issue with that. Evergrow is a reflection token. You are basically, every single time you use this token, you are, using some, you are losing something like 15% of the transaction's uh, uh, value on a buy or sell because of the actual slippage fees. How on earth do you expect someone to use this token with such insane taxes for the sort of like a daily uses with these with these with these insane taxes on top? Just think about it. Would you go in a shop and use let's say a dollar if every single time you purchase something you literally lose fifteen percent on top, uh, excluding the price and everything? You just you just quite literally losing money by using this token 
and and I mean you know once again once again the sort of like um, the use of the token the sort of like a daily widespread use of the token it is absolutely nonsensical uh, looking further, uh, I have noticed uh, just recently Evergrow uh, reached almost 1 billion market cap and there is thousands and thousands and thousands of people that actually think that you know they are becoming millionaires, that they will be millionaires, but unfortunately it's just not how things work. So, so market cap, as you can see, it is originally calculated. Um, it is determined by the current price multiplied by the circulating supply, which is usually the case. The sort of like an unfortunate thing, uh, when, when some of the creators provide all these tokens, basically instead of, a, let's say, imagine liquidity pool, basically to start uh, the, the liquidity pool, um, to give out your token for trading that people could buy it, you have to create liquidity pool. You have to provide your tokens and a certain value on the other side that people could exchange that sort of like a mainstream used a token for your tokens so let's say let's say you have a pool of evergrow tokens and bnb tokens and they are going one to one ratio which means one evergrow token uh, is worth uh, one 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 bnb or or let's say one dollar and then and then the market cap would be accurate but that is not the case for evergrow uh, so just for comparison, I I, have, I I did the calculations and I'm covering basically the other reflection tokens. And as you can see, uh, on the left side we have baby cake token, and as you can see, their market cap is around ten million dollars. But in a liquidity pool, if we round things up, you could say that there is only two million dollars in a liquidity pool, which actually matters. This liquidity pool is the cash that actually represents the token. It's the total value combined that is held uh, and is worth the circulating supply of the token. So basically, so basically, basically, if you look at these things, I mean, you might have you might have market cap of billions, trillions, quadrillions, but if there is four dollars in liquidity, and let's say let's say let's say you know, uh, the total market uh, the total supply is one quadrillion, the market cap is one quadrillion, and so on, so on, and you have you have just a few dollars in a liquidity pool. Your overall token, wherever you're holding it, there is worth absolutely nothing. So let's say in baby cake, um, ten million market cap, two million dollars in liquidity pools uh, combined, rounded up. The ratio is more or less five to one, which basically means that initially, when baby cake was provided into the liquidity for the trading, the ratio of provided tokens to a dollar were five baby cakes for one dollar. Looking further into the safe moon, uh, Evergrow guys, um, deceitful owners, uh, they really like to sort of like uh, compare themselves to safe moon with their reflections, with their growth. Uh, I saw I saw posts that they they are planning to become this literally top ten token in the world, this this major major crypto, and. Uh, let's look at the safe moon. So safe moon has a market cap of three billion. Uh, let's say almost around three billion one hundred million uh, dollars, and across the liquidity pools, these guys have a hundred twelve million dollars, which basically means that the token to liquidity ratio is something like twenty seven to one, which basically means that when Safe Moon was providing the liquidity, its liquidity its ratio was around twenty seven tokens for one dollar or so. Looking further. I also included Crypto Token. Uh, this is the token that Evergrow owners tried to FUD uh, because some of their whales were leaving for this token, uh, which is which is really dirty if you ask me. I mean, it's it's just low.
Now, looking at the, at the creep token, as you can see, they have market cap of 12 million, almost $400,000, $300,000, however you want to look at it, and liquidity of around $650,000, which basically means that when they were providing the liquidity pool, uh, the ratio of their tokens to the liquidity was around 18.9 tokens to $1. Looking at the overgrow, and there, there, this, 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 this uh, famous delusional market cap. You can see that it's at nine hundred eighty million dollars, and in the liquidity pool there is barely eleven million dollars, which is really, in comparison, it's 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 laughable. I mean, it's just insane ratio. So if you divide things, if you calculate stuff, basically it means that Ever Evergrow provided liquidity uh, liquidity ratio uh, of around 89 tokens to $1. And it is not to mention that they did a massive burn, which means that their liquidity token ratio before that was even more whack. So if you compare, let's say, let's say uh, Evergrow Evergrow and Safe Moon. I mean, I mean, Safe Moon has a market cap of uh, three billion, uh, three billion, a hundred million, and um, let's say, let's say, because of this, because of this absolutely delusional and and just 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 absolutely delusional and somewhat deceitful ratio of the tokens to the liquidity that Evergrow devs made. Basically, if Evergrow token was ever as large as a safe moon it would have to have market cap of something like 11 billion dollars which is never going to happen uh, uh, taking into the consideration their their plans to develop all those mediocre products so yeah, uh, that's about it guys. Uh, the whole the whole so sort of like idea of this video is basically just to present you that, you know, Evergrow as planned as usual is basically behind the roadmap and developing and presenting their mediocre products. Uh, once again, there is there is there is more lies and sort of like a deceitful behavior uh, from the devs themselves and I do hope that that with the help of this video you basically mm, start to understand more that the sort of like a total market cap uh, does not mean as much. I mean, if you look at the, at the some of the scam coins, those so-called dust tokens that you receive into your wallet, uh, out of random you receive something like 700 million of uh, some random named tokens. And according, let's say, if you go to the portfolio trackers, you know, you check them and it turns out you literally hold like something like $17 million worth of those tokens. You look at, you go into the pool coin to check the token. Next thing you know, there is, there is half a dollar in the liquidity. And in, in, in reality, it is worth absolutely nothing. So this is one of the sort of like a tricks that some of the deceitful developers use to inflate inflate their market cap to sort of like inflate their growth so basically with these insane ratios ever grow is more or less more or less you know with the small amounts of investment in comparison they are growing insanely high but at the same time it means that literally you know someone will dump a half a million and and a half a million uh, in comparison to like 11 million dollars liquidity pool it's it's absolutely a lot i mean i mean price will just crash down like like there's nothing in there you know and that's all there is to it so as i mentioned before in my other videos you know uh this is not a financial advice uh this is my opinion only and that's all there is to it i thank you for your time